Peace, peace, black family. So this is part three, the finale of the three-part series, The Attack on Haitian Voodoo. So in uh, episode one, I basically showed that there uh, was an attack on um, Haitian voodoo. I feel like Catholicism in Haiti has come to terms with voodoo in a way that Protestant Christianity has not. We're still the devil and for them. You're still the devil yes. for them. You're still, still the, the devil, devil for them. them. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Haitians are believing it and, 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 and adopting that, that message. True. Because they, it's drilled into their skull. They're giving them food for fate. They're giving them food for fate. They're giving them food for fate. And uh, in part two, I showed uh, why there was an attack on uh, Haitian voodoo, more or less because, um, you know, once they remove who and what we are, they can ultimately make us who they want us to be. And so part three will kind of be like a informational uh, aspect of, you know, Haitian voodoo, because a lot of us are not familiar with the term laku. The lakus are self-sufficient population cells. Work is communal as the product obtained from the work. Each laku is run by a hugan or voodoo priest who is called mambo in the case of a woman and he or she is assisted by a council of elders. Its inhabitants normally have the same African roots, Congo, Ndomi, Mandingo, Ui, etc. This other laku is Domi. Its architecture takes us to another African region from which the Yoruba deities, the Orexhas, departed. The voodoo religion acts as a bonding force for the people. It joins and fits together the range of different customs of the different ethnic groups from which the slaves that populated Haiti came. It helps to prop up a society that owes its existence to this religion. And so through these lakus, we can actually tell what part of Africa we descended from. You can literally trace your roots back to Africa through that cultural experience because all voodoo is not the same. You have people in Haiti to this day, who live in neighborhoods called Congo. A great sacred Mapu, as they call the Cybers, presides over the Laku of the Congo, Laku of the Congo, Laku of the Congo. Now I'm sure my Aboriginal brothers and sisters are going to say things like, well, the white man told them they came from Africa. These people haven't had any contact with the white man. These people don't, these people never even really been to school. They live in self-sustaining villages. Most of these people don't even know how to read or write. Most of these people come from the ancestors of Maroons. So when they say they know they come from Diomi, they come from Congo, this is a fact. And they've carried on these religious spiritual principles from Africa with them. When you look at Santeria, the people in, in that practice Santeria do the same thing that the people in Haiti do. It's all connected. But I'm pretty sure some Aboriginals are going to say, man, the white man taught them that so they can be connected. The same voodoo they practice in, in Haiti, they practice it in Cuba. They practice it in Brazil. They practice it all around. You can't make that up. That's something that had to come from West Africa with you. This is Tyro, an old slave plantation where I've been invited to a Santeria religious ceremony, one of Cuba's most important cultural legacies from Africa and slavery. The ceremony starts with a sacrifice to the gods, but especially to one, the god of the pathways, named in Cuba, El Legua. In Yoruba, he's called Eshu Elegba. It's the same God, the same ritual, the same beginning for Condomble in Brazil, for Vodou in Haiti, and for Santeria here in Cuba. A clear sign of their common origin with the Yoruba people of West Africa and the Fon people of Dahomey. 
And so the whole gist of this, to, to wrap everything up in the final episode of this three-part series, the reason why it's such an attack on African spirituality is, number one, because it shows you who you are. It brings you back to what you are as an African. When you say, I know I come from Diomi, I come from a warrior class of people, I have a culture, I have principles, I have values, I have a spiritual system, you become whole. You become who you are, who you were meant to be as an African. So they must start with ripping out your form of education or your religious. Those two things are very important. Because if you want to turn this salt shaker into a pepper bottle, the first thing you got to do is dump out the salt. And that's what they did with us. And this is why there's an attack on Haitian voodoo. Because that, that example that Haiti led in 1804 with using African spirituality as their freeing mechanism, using that to bond the people from Diomi with the people with Congo to come together and bond under one, under the principles of voodoo, is, was very scary for the white supremacists. And this is why they constantly attack it. This is why they attack it and then turn around and practice it. Because they understand the power of it. When you go to the South and you see all these statues of these Confederate white folk up on their horses riding around, that's voodoo, my friend. That's them honoring their ancestors. Nationwide, there are about 700 Confederate monuments in public spaces. According to a new poll this week, just 27% of Americans say Confederate monuments should be removed, while 62% think they should stay. I want this to be about remembering our past. I want to, I want to make sure that we're not throwing away pieces of, of history that we, we don't want to think about. See, they don't want you to honor your ancestors because they know the power in that. They're going to tell you, forget about slavery. Forget about that West African talk. Here's a good old Bible. But every time you go through the South or you go, they even name all these schools after their ancestors. You be going to George Washington High. You be going to all these racist-ass crackers schools. Because they're honoring their ancestors. You, you look on the money. Hey, this man owned, this some slave owning shit. You know, $5 bills. Somebody owns slaves on the goddamn money. But they're honoring their ancestors. But they will tell you not to honor your ancestors. And that's the trick. First, they have to force you out of it. Then they're going to take it over. And then they're going to replace whatever they need to replace inside of you. And say, this is who you should be now. And our people have become so scared, so petrified of, of African spirituality that they don't even know where to start. And I appreciate everybody appreciating these videos. I've been getting a lot of inquiries for people who want to start practicing African spirituality. But let me say this. You must come to African spirituality for the same reason you come to black consciousness out of a pure heart. You can't go to anything with negative motives and expect positivity to come out of it so for people who really truly want to come to african spirituality there's a process you have to have a pure heart they have studied voodoo for the longest they have studied it down to so-called zombieism right where they know now that voodoo for the most part is 75 percent to do with plants in the traditional voodoo law, the maximum penalty is zombification and not death. The Hugans that have passed sentence will appoint an executioner who will blow the zombie powder in such a way that the criminal will inhale it without realizing it. Shortly afterwards, he will die without anyone knowing why, and he will be buried. Sometime later, he will be exhumed, an antidote will be applied, and they will steal his soul. He will obey the Hugans and will work for the rest of his life for them. In fact, they reduce him to a cataleptic state produced by tetrodotoxin, the main ingredient of the zombie powder. His brain does not receive sufficient supply of blood, which combined with the shock of being buried alive, causes irreversible damage to his mental faculties. So all this time, they've been telling you that someone's going to do something spiritual to you and you're going to go crazy. But they knew all along that the zombieism thing 
was created by puffer fish and plants and things like that. And again, as I said in part two of this series, voodoo has a lot to do with principles, plants, and nature. That's what this is about. Your principles, being in touch with nature. Hopefully everything I said in this series touches you. And um, again, if you're going to come to uh, African spirituality, come to it with a pure heart. Anyway, family, until next time, think black, stay black, love black, support black. And that's real African black power. Alvle, lui veut faire demander, est-ce que la course a pris naissance avec groupe esclave qui était venu ou depuis là où était venu, c'est même nous même les artistes esclaves, oui, même les artistes monde devenu. C'est monde ça, c'est eux même qui devenu parce que jusqu'à jusqu'à présent, c'est ça que tout cet ensemble de tout cet ensemble de ni Congo ni Dahomey ni la Guinée ensemble tout le monde est non bateau. Ok. Je t'ai venu sur des autres en Afrique, sur des autres là, mais là où il est sur Afrique ça dit moi dans Dahomey, sur mes dans ça dit moi dans Congo. Dans ce cuisson, il dit qu'il y a un agro badjo. Chaque n'est pas pareil. C'est même avec Chor. Ok. Tout le monde a une origine pareil. Par exemple, ici, c'est Daoumé. Daoumé, ok. Il y a un badjo ou un nago. Nago. Il y a un soukou ou un congo. Congo. Il y a un badjo. Chaque n'est pas pareil. Quelle est la différence entre Daoumé et Nago? Chaque n'est pas pareil. Parce que l'on a pris Daoumé en lap danse. L'on a pris l'or dans l'agro. 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 Ok. Alors, c'est le rythme, le rythme là, dans qui est différencié. Il y a une cérémonie. Il y a une différence. Une différence, tout. Différence tout, 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 tout cérémonie. Il y a une différence, tout n'est pas fait même, même cérémonie. Okay. Mais, mais là, il y a une que tout le monde dans la cérémonie, tout le monde double. Chaque côté, il y Ok, tout le monde tout de blanc, les cérémonies. Il y a une cérémonie, tout le monde est tout de blanc. Il y a une cérémonie, tout le monde est tout de blanc. Il y a une cérémonie, tout le monde est tout de blanc.